If you like guitar playing, you're going to love this show. If you like, if you want to know, um, one thing I've realized about this show and doing it, I can play obscure songs in this show and people respond to them the same way they respond to their familiar hits. Mm -hmm. and, but there's a reason for it. It's because I put them into context before I play them. Mm -hmm. And I give people a context, a backstory, a history, and I make the song meaningful so that even though they're hearing a song that they've never heard before, they respond to it as though it's familiar. And that's the magic of the show. And that's what the show is all about. It's really about, um, a, you know, and then, you know, from another point of view, it's a chance for, pe me, for people, if they care enough, to see who I really am as a musician. Because this show showcases my individual personality in the best possible way. Um, I'm, I'm able to be myself. I'm able to be myself personally, you know, when I talk to the audience and we have this amazing rapport between Guthrie and I. And also it, it showcases what I think I do best, which is acoustic guitar playing. I'm a better acoustic guitar player than I am an electric guitar player. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, I love both, but I, I, my acoustic guitar is my sweet spot. So this show, uh, it really, it strips away all the artifice. It strips away all the uh, showbiz aspects of, mm -hmm. any, of any kind of live performance. And it's as natural and as authentic as, as it is possible. Can you uh, specify some of the, the, the genres? It's, it's a little blues, would you say? A little, uh, is it Delta? What, how, what, what genres do you guys touch on? Um, well, I have another quote that I've been using. It's like, it's, like, uh, it's like Dixieland dipped in bluegrass and salted with Delta blues. Uh, a it's, it's a little bit, of, I mean, honestly, it's everything. We play ragtime, we play swing, we play, um, we play, Doc Watson, finger picking Appalachian stuff. Uh, and then we blend it into, into a series of songs that are more contemporary, songs that I more re or have been written more recently. Um, that, uh, you know, that, and people all of a sudden they get, they get it. Because if I were to just come out and play this brand new song that I wrote a year ago or whatever, and not say a word about it, people would just sit there and they'd be appreciative and I'm sure they'd be respectful. But when they, the way we set the show up, it, it, it's a chronology. It's a, it's a musical time trip. And the way it's set up, when we finally get to these new songs that they've never heard before, there's a, there's a context that is created. And then I honestly, and, and I get the same response on every one of these shows. Well, I'm so glad you played Man Eater or Out of Touch or, or, or She's Gone. We, we, we love those songs. But the songs you played before are so cool. I had no idea. Everyone says the same thing. They really appreciate hearing this new stuff. It's fresh for them. And it's fresh because of the way we present it. Is it in a sense, is the show in a sense a book with individual stories, a chrono chronology yes. of, of your career you, in a sense? You could look at it that way. Absolutely. You could look at it that way. And, and the setting, is, is it sort of a fireside chat, kind of living room, comfortable, like welcome to my house kind of thing? Uh, th that was the concept for the show. Guthrie and I were playing at home uh, with two acoustic guitars, which we do for fun. And we, it sounded so good and we were having so much fun. We said, wouldn't it be cool if we just take this on the stage? How can we do that? And, and we looked at each other and we said, let's just take the living room and on the stage. So we show up, we've got a rug, we've got a table, we've got a lamp, we've got two, two stools, two acoustic guitars, and we sing and play. 